Hi and welcome to See Sparkles Corner. Today I'm going to do a makeup video. I want to show you what I do every time for every Sunday or any special occasion when I do for makeup. Um, how I totally submerge and hide my birthmark. I was one of the few unlucky ones born with a birthmark. But some people call it a beauty mark. Uh, my husband didn't like me hide it, covering it up because he said I looked different and to him I was the most beautiful woman in the world, God rest his soul. And so, first thing is, um, I'm going to show you each step and explain how to do it. Now between each, each step, you want the makeup to dry, but if you don't have time to make it dry, that's okay, good. First of all, you want to get a cover stick. A cover stick will hide your birthmark. And this is what I've used. This one is from CoverGirl. And what you do is you match your cover stick to just be a hair darker than your skin color. See? Or try to get it at your skin color. I'm using this makeup here, mirror here, to do it. Okay. So with the cover stick, as you can see, this has been used quite a bit. You take and just put it over the areas you want to hide. Okay. See? I'm going to cover the entire birth mark. Okay. I take the cover stick and go back and forth over the areas I want to hide. Now, in my particular case, I have a bit of bags under my eyes. It looks like I it will look like I didn't get enough sleep. So I'm doing that. And that's all. See, cover it so no red, so no rose colored or red or whatever, so no birthmark is shown. And that's it. Then wait five minutes for it to dry. So I'm going to see you in um, five minutes for the next step. If you don't have time to let it dry, that's okay. You can put the next cup layer on, but I have the time, so I'm going to show it the full five minutes. See in five minutes. <laughs> Alright, welcome back. Well, it's been five minutes, and we're ready for the next step. On the next step, oh, here we go. On the next step, you need two things, okay? I use the cup girl, and see? Matches my skin color. <coughs> I pick, you know, cover girl, and you also need a cotton ball. Okay, I use cover girls, ones that have these little wands in them. All right, that's so that your physical finger doesn't get on your makeup. I believe that. <coughs> excuse me, just a little bit more sanitary. Well, it's been five minutes, so the first layer is dry. So this is what I do. I take and get the blobs out of that with the fingertip. And put some on the cheek. Put some on there on my face. Put some on my forehead. Put some over my nose. I know you're going to think this is a bit thick, but... I am covering a birthmark. Put some on my cheek. And put several several blobs over my head. And I put a little bit down on my neck. Alright, now I take some of this and I get a good amount on my <coughs> excuse me, cotton ball. Now I'm going to immediately cover this. I always keep two bottles of that same color. Alright, one for backup in case it runs out. There's nothing worse than running out of a makeup with a face half finished. Alright, now I'm going to take this and watch how I'm doing it now. I'm blobbing. I'm making sure my hair is out of my way, which is why I pulled back my hair. I'm Would you get my phone, please? I'm blobbing it. 
on my arm over my entire face. Now you're going to look flat because all your colors are going to be the same. Now you do your chin. That's how you can have it now. And going over your face. Okay. Now you want to cover your side, even go over your eyebrow to even out your colors and your entire eye and up by your nose. Okay, now let's get the other side. I'm going over that eyebrow. It's harder to do it <laughs> with a little mirror than a big bathroom mirror. Covering every inch. This is going to get an even skin tone. And be careful not. Remember your lower color is dry, but this new color, your new top, which isn't. Okay. And both these are done by CoverGirl. my favorite brand of makeup out of all that I've used. Took me a long time in many different ways to try to figure out how to cover this ugly, ugly birthmark that I have been cursed with. Okay, now you can see, as you can see, I've got every bit of it closed up and the birthmark is not visible and now I have an even skin tone and I cover my neck just to keep the cover even all right all over my face now I'm gonna let this dry five minutes before we go to the next spot but as you can see the birthmark is completely gone so see you in five minutes now it's been another five minutes so the makeup's dry, see? All right, now, um, the next thing you do is put on your blush. Now, if you're, you either use red or my case brown for blush. The um, red, the rosé color is too strong for me because I'm trying to get rid of it because I think they said it was a winter or something. So I'm gonna use brown. What's up? Take your brush. Rub it in your bl blush, tap it like that to get off the excess, and go on your cheekbones just like this. This is how I particularly do it for my face. Everybody's different like that. Okay, now that takes care of my blush. Now I'm going to use a finishing powder before I do my eyes, and that is like going to help my makeup last longer and. I just get enough on the blush to go the color, okay? Pretty good, pretty good about And then I'm going to go all over my face with it. Every inch. Under my chin and my neck. This is going to even out the colors. Don't do this till after. And with my little nose, my little nosy. Don't want to let the little nose go. And even where my birthmark was that you cannot see anymore. Okay. And on the eyes. You make sure it dries that way you don't just color your brush. That's another thing. And a good tip is I got a whole pack of brushes at a store called the Dollar Tree and it was just a dollar. So it saves. Okay, now 
There. That takes care of it. That's all I use that brush for. And this. This finishing powder, which is also CoverGirl, and this brush, which I got at the Dollar Tree. I don't think it had any brand name on it. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, so you can start seeing the difference, where I'm kind of wearing cool colors today. Mm. I think I'm going to get and um, put on my lipstick so you can start seeing the show difference in my face. Okay. She, she don't know. She don't know. Basically, just, just, just remember this. Very simple structure. What the fuck you say? Just tell them that you eat a couple of stereo speakers for your tall. That's it. That can't be a third drug. Can't be a say. <laughs> All right. Now, also, I put chapstick over, but I forgot to bring it out. But because my lip dries, the lipstick dries my eyes out. Now, I'm going to do the makeup. Um, I go my by my makeup, my eye makeup by what I'm wearing for the day. That's kind of what I do. And um, I start with this. Okay. Well. I'm going to start with this eyeliner, okay? Which is. Yeah. A, yeah. An eyeliner, and uh, you take and go to the edge of your eye like this. That's where you know where to stop. Okay. Now I'm going by the natural line. of my eye. Okay, see, there you go. That eye is done. Okay, there. Yeah, alright. There, see? There's my eyebrows. Well, uh. Yeah. Even if you want to get a TV sound bar, you know, Amazon's really cheap. Okay. That's yeah, a natural line in my eye. There. Okay. Okay. You can sit there okay. Now for the eye makeup, I use this little brush like this. Now how I like to do it is, um, I'm wearing greens and blues, so I'm going to pick a blue, which I just kind of consider the standard color. Blow it off to get your brushes, and I put it right in the middle of my eye. Now this is going to last me all day because I'm going to church and then I'm putting going to put it on a little heavy because yeah, I'm going out and I'm having guests over for dinner so I have church in the morning and then I have guests up okay so I'm going to pick up a, a bright white and I'm going the top like this And I'm going like this. I'm doing the same on the other eye. All right. <coughs> now, that brush back away. Now I'm going to take a little cotton ball like this. And I'm going up like this. I'm smoothing it all out. You can get a big bag of cotton ball really, really cheap. It's just basically smoothing out the two colors. You can wear three colors too, if you like. 
you know. I've done that where the light color here, medium tone there, and dark in the back. But I always put a dark in the back. I've gotten compliments on how my colors have kind of worked out. Okay, now. Now I'm going to take, now this is always the hardest for me because I like to blink so much. But now uh, I'm going to use my eyeliner. Now, I take another brush and kind of smooth it out. Or another way I've often done it is use a little Q-tip. Okay, so I'm just going to do one eye. Alright, now I take and I use black mascara. I've had, I've used brown. I used to use brown, but I consider black as the standard color. I'm just going to do one eye. If you get a blob here or there, fear not. You can cover it up with your makeup or Q-tips. There we go. <coughs> and there you have it. Dave. And there you have it, my friends. That's all of it. And that's how I do my makeup. And as you can see, you can get a close-up. There's absolutely no sign of a birthmark and um, I get compliments. Have fun with colors and changing eyebrows and colors, eyelashes, eyeliners, whatever. Enjoy yourself and the fun never ends in the world of SMART. Thank you for viewing. Feel free to subscribe. Hugs and kisses from my family to yours and the fun never ends in the world of SMART. See you next video. Bye everybody.